It's just going to verify here. I, it's basically setting up. So I'm just going to verify here that we are live on Facebook. Are we live? Yes, we are. Fantastic. All right. We okay. are live. We are live. So Yay. hi. Thank you for joining everybody and welcome. My name is Landy Martin. I'm a certified holistic health coach and an anti-vaccine loudmouth. And tonight I have a very special guest, Dr. Ivy Pruce. And she's gonna be talking about cellular nutrition, the importance of that, how we can ensure that we are getting proper nutrition for ourselves, how we can detox and a lot of other really fun stuff. But before I turn the floor over to her, I want to let you know that I am giving away over $100 in free products. So here's what you gotta do. Quick disclaimer before we get started. Uh, everything you hear on tonight's call is for educational purposes only. And we have not consulted with the FDA and nothing is designed to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And as always, if you suffer from a chronic illness, be sure you're consulting with your holistic practitioner, your functional medicine chiropractor, or your medical doctor, if you do, uh, to get advice before you change your supplementation or any lifestyle changes. So the first product that I'm gonna be giving away tonight is a full size bag of our weight loss slimmer. And these products are all organic, they're gluten-free, dairy-free, whole food, plant-based, uh, cruelty-free. And this works, uh, people are losing like 50 pounds or more with this. It retails for close to $70, and it's formulated by our world-renowned formulator, Dr. Uh, Alexandria Brighton. And if you haven't heard of her, please look her up. She's an aromatherapist and essential oils expert, and she's recognized around the world for her formulas. So in order to get this and be entered to win, we want you to share this live stream right now. So hit that share button and you'll be entered into a random drawing to win this. So the next thing I'm gonna be giving away is a sample size of the slimmer. It says it's seven servings, but it's actually more like 10. It's a very generous sample. And so you're gonna get this as well as the charcoal and cacao hair and body bar. And if you've been following me, you know how much I love this bar. I talk about it all the time. I use it on my hair and it helps, um, it helps keep it shiny and full of body and volume. And this retails for about $10. And so this is a total value of about $25. And in order to be entered to win these, we're gonna want you to hit that love button. So just give this webinar some love, give me some love down below, and we will get this shipped out to you. Last but not least, before we get Dr. Ivy on, everyone is a winner on tonight's call. Be sure and make a comment below and then get back in touch with the person who referred you and you will get a $25 gift card. And you can use this for $25 of free products, products of your choice. Just get back in touch with the person who referred you. All right, and also um, a quick reminder, we are streaming live via Zoom. So I can't see your comments right now, but while Dr. Ivy is talking, I'm gonna be looking through the questions. So put all your questions in the comments. I'll make sure that she gets those answered before we leave. Uh, and now I'm so excited to introduce to you my dear friend, Ivy. Um, I've known Ivy for a couple of years. We're very good friends. She's just an amazing person. She's a wonderful mom, wife, and she's got five kids. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, she homeschools four of those kids and she's still nursing her baby. So she's just an amazing per person. With all of that, she holds dual doc doctorates in naturopathic medicine, as well as clinical herbalism. <laughs> She specializes in epigenetics and nutrigenomics, and I'm going to let her like tell you what that is and explain that because I'm sure we have a lot of viewers out there that may not know what that means. Uh, she has been a practicing clinical herbalist for over 16 years, and I'm just super excited to have her talk. And Ivy, I'm going to do a screen share real quick. Okay. And okay, do you see? There we go. And Ivy, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to mute myself and turn it over to you. Okay. Well, thank you guys for being here tonight um, on this live that Landy and I are doing. Landy and I are exceptional friends. We've known each other for several years now. And when she had this idea, this was one of the most amazing things I could think of to do. I love educating people. 
I love teaching people how to achieve a better quality of life. And again, she said the disclaimer in the very beginning, we're not here to diagnose, treat, or anything like that with uh, identify or diagnose any diseases. Um, please obviously see your healthcare provider, but um, cellular nutrition is very dear to my heart because it, it encompasses so much. And what Landy said, about what I decided to specialize in, nutrigenomics and epigenetics. Basically, those two words encompass the fact that genes can be turned off and turned on by our choices. And basically, one of the ways we do that is via food and what we consume. I decided to specialize in that because I don't see many holistic practitioners or many naturopaths, for that matter, practicing this way. And it is so vital to get such effective results with clients for you to understand what these things are. So we're gonna talk about cellular nutrition and cellular health, okay? So by definition, cellular health is having your cells nourished so that they can work efficiently, okay? And the reason cellular health is so important is because that is your vitality. I can tell your condition and the quality of your health by the level of the millions of cells that make up, up, make up your body. So if they're not healthy, you're not healthy, okay? So that's just the premise on what we're gonna go on. So when we talk about health and when we talk about cellular nutrition, there's a psychological aspect to this, okay? And it's very serious and not many people understand this, but, for this, for you to have the best results of this, something has to take place mentally in your mind. I know a lot of us that are watching right now, we're wives, we're moms, okay? And just because of, of being a wife and being a mom, we have a tendency to always put ourselves last, okay? We're okay if certain needs of ours don't get met. Um, we don't need the newest and latest things. It's okay if we can't get this supplement. It's okay if mom can't get a full night's sleep. It's okay if mom doesn't eat right now, or sometimes it's okay if mom doesn't eat today because there's so many things going on. There are other things that are more important and we are just okay with being last, okay? The thing I wanna to explain to you is you're only willing to go as far for your spouse you're only willing to go as far for your family as you are for yourself. And until you are willing to go that extra mile for yourself, you're not re really able to go the extra mile for your family, okay? We all have different situations. Some of us still live with our parents. Some of us have young adult children still living with us at home. Some of us live and take care of extended family. So everyone's situation is different, okay? And when you're the main care provider at home for your family, for your spouse and your extended family, more times than not, you let yourself always come last. Now, making sure that you have a mental switch and put yourself first, at least in this area, there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody's saying create a world in where only you exist and everything revolves around you. But you have to understand that the utmost form of self-respect is doing the best thing that you can do for your body. That is the epitome of self-care. It's not downtime to watch TV. It's not, you know, whatever. Maybe for some people that helps you wind down, but I'm talking about something that's gonna have a lasting effect, okay? And you need to make sure that you put yourself first in this area, if you won't do it in any other area, it at least has to happen in this area. Why? So that you can be the best version of yourself, so that you can actually be around because you care about your health, you care about your body. We only get one life, one shot, one body, one turn. We only get one turn at this. So make it the best you can. Now, a little bit about myself, okay? What changed for me in my life, what made me go this route, because I wasn't always this way. 11 years ago, I had my second child. My son was born. And this guy, out of all five of my children, he was like my nursing champ. We nursed exclusively until about 18 months. 
He wasn't interested in any kind of food. He didn't want any solids. He just wanted mama. And that was so great. It was one of the best experiences I've had with my five children. Now, when I had him shortly after that, probably around six to eight weeks, he started to develop a severe skin condition. I call it like severe eczema from the waist down in all his creases, like in all the folds, uh, the elbows, the knees, the eye lids, um, and completely from the waist down. What he looked like was a recovering burn victim. So for me as a new mom, it was very scary, right? The problem was I knew that I was solely responsible because we were only exclusively nursing. So here's the problem. My whole married life before that, I was okay with being last. If anything ever happened to me, I just chalked it up to a coincidence. Oh, you know, oh man, what's this rash or gosh, I hope this dry scaly skin goes away. I just chalked up my problems to just coincidence, right? So I had two large misconceptions. Number one, I thought that I was gaining health by things that I was willing to avoid. I knew I wasn't taking over the counter medication. I knew I don't take pharmaceuticals. So I thought in my mind, I'm healthy because I don't take those things. But in the background, covertly, there were things that I was allowing into my home that I wasn't really paying attention to. And sure enough, my cupboards ended up being full of high fructose corn syrup, processed sugar, MSG, food colorings, artificial ingredients, things that my body doesn't even recognize. And here I was thinking, I'm getting health by not consuming these things. But on the other side, what I was consuming wasn't attributing anything positive to me or my body, let alone my brand new little baby, you know? And so the beautiful thing about them, brand new babies, is that they don't know how to deal with that. Their little bodies don't have such an efficient detoxification system like we have. So he showed results right away out of my bad choices, my lack of education, that is what killed me. I was okay to chalk up any of my own problems to coincidence, but seeing my children suffer from my lack of education and my lack of better choices, that is where it hit me. That is where my mental capacity changed to understand that I have to value myself. I can't go the extra mile for them if I wasn't willing to do it for myself. So that's a little bit of a backstory about me and how and why this all changed and started for me. So, um, yes, okay, my next point here, uh, as far as you, you guys can see on the slides, okay? Self-care, it's the utmost important thing you can do for yourself. It's the utmost form of self-respect you could ever bestow on yourself. You are worth it. Your health matters. It is an investment. You are not an expense, okay? This isn't something that, like a bill you take care of every month. Oh, I gotta make sure I take care of that. You're not an expense. You are the investment. And in fact, the investment of you and your health should come before anything else. Now, for that to take place, what do we have to do, right? We need to make sure we make the best food choices possible. So 10 years ago, I could not say that I could affordably feed a family of seven organically, okay? That was the case 10 years ago. That's not the case today. Today, you can do it so affordably, it's almost silly not to go that route, right? Because the sweetness of the cheap food we buy, that is not gonna outlast the bitterness of the detrimental effects it's gonna have on you, okay? It's not gonna outlast it. So we think we're doing the best, you know, we're doing the best, we're budgeting great, we're getting the cheapest things possible, and then you're sick all the time, things aggravate you very easily as far as like your skin, for example. Uh, you get irritated very easily, you get rashes for no reason. Um, your body over overreacts to very simple things that you should be able to tolerate and handle just fine. So <clears throat> food choices are a must, okay? And with the way things are right now, with the way that our soils are depleted, 
you make the best food choices possible, you're going to have to look into supplementation because even if you eat around the clock, 24 hours, you're still not getting everything you need. It's just not possible today. Bioavailability. Bioavailability is another thing that is absolutely vital when you're going to look for a product that's going to actually nourish your body, nourish your cells. Okay, you're going to need something that's going to actually be bioavailable. So many things on the market today. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. You just excrete it right back out. You take it in and you pass it right back out. Okay, exercise goes hand in hand with supplementation. You know why? Because you can't out supplement bad choices. Okay. It's impossible. You can't do it. doesn't matter what you take. If you're going to continue to live the wrong lifestyle, make the wrong choices, you're going to show it. And it doesn't matter what you take. It's not going to offset that. <clears throat> so let's talk about what toxicity is. Okay. If we're going to explain the importance of cellular health and the importance of cellular nutrition, you need to understand what toxicity is, okay? Because toxicity isn't your friend. And the moment you wake up every day, you face it. The moment you get out of your bed, every day you live your life, you're, you're battling toxicity. Now, for a typically healthy person, our bodies are made to handle toxic encounters every day. You know what the evidence of that is? The fact that in your body, there's millions and trillions of viral components, bacterial components, and guess what? They're not all good. But every day, your, uh, your body protects you from them, correct? Otherwise, you'd be in an emergency room every day, and you're not. So your body is equipped to handle a toxic toxic exposure every day. If you're relatively healthy, your detoxification pathways are open. They're functioning properly. They're there to protect you. You consume something that wasn't so great. It had food coloring. It had artificial sweeteners that are toxic to the body. Your body sees it, metabolizes it, passes it right through. If you're not healthy, that is not the case for you. Okay. Let me tell you what not healthy looks like. Not healthy is a habitual lifestyle. That means your toxic, what am I trying to think of here? Your toxic encounters, your toxic exposure is habitual. It is every day, 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Eating out all the time, eating processed foods, anything you can think of that is the least healthy for you. This is what accumulates as toxicity. Why? Because toxicity is cumulative. It's not one brownie that got me here. It's not one cupcake that got me here. It's not even a week of bad eating choices that got me here. It is a habitual lifestyle, okay? Toxicity presents itself in many, many different ways. The cleaners you use at home, plastics, okay? Uh, the American diet, the typical standard American diet is anything but healthy. Okay. Again, we're talking about toxicity, where you're going to find it and how you can identify it. With this load of toxicity, hormones get disrupted. Okay. You probably become a petri dish for mold, mold problems inside your body. Okay. You have an overload of heavy metals. All right, you've got petrochemicals, you've got pesticides in the food. Uh, v, V is for our precious little word, vaccines. Okay, if you're rolling up your sleeves, if you're taking your babies for their little well visit checkups, you are exposing yourself by far to the most concentrated form of toxic exposure in that act of doing that very act you're exposing yourself to the most concentrated form of toxic material. Understand that when I tell you that. Toxic material, okay? Usually when you eat something that's bad, you, your body filters out what's not good, okay? You have built-in features to do that for you. When you directly inject it into your bloodstream, you're in trouble. You know why? Because it never leaves your body, okay? It never leaves your body. 
unless you take specific measures to do so. And even those measures, uh, they have to work very, very hard at getting these constituents out of your body. So I'm glad we got that out of the way, just so that you and I are on the same page. Landy and I are very much on the same page and her and I have a very good understanding of how those things damage your body, okay? So when you read this slide that has just come up, chronic disease will generate $47 trillion in healthcare costs globally by 2030 if this epidemic is unchecked, okay? So are you reading that? Or is that getting through of how vital this problem is? We have this generation, the sickest generation of children, children that are not gonna outlive their parents, okay? That is a very heartbreaking thing. At the same time, we have this wave of a population of people completely waking up. So I think also this generation is gonna have a subset of children that parents like you, myself and Landy and others, we're teaching our kids to actually read labels. That wasn't done before, okay? So this, this is a, an amazing, an amazing turn of the tide, the way things are going. But it just seems like things have to get drastically bad before we wake up and make the switch that needs to take place. Now, here are the effects of toxicity, okay? When your body has a constant inflow of toxic behavior, toxic cons consuming of food, okay, your detoxification pathways, guess what? They get sluggish they get gunked up, you become lethargic, you have lack of energy, you begin to gain weight. You know why? Because your body's protective mechanism is to engulf the toxic material in fatty cells. You can't get angry at your body for doing that for you. You know why your body does that? So that this toxic material isn't floating around in your blood excuse me, that's exactly why your body does that. So are you going to get angry at your body for doing its built-in wire job to how to protect you? No, you can't really do that. So people say to me, Ivy, I don't know if it's worth it to eat clean because I start eating clean, I start feeling bad. You know why that is? The second that you stop consuming toxic material for your body, the second that your body realizes that, it turns around and it starts to clean house. When you start to clean house, you don't feel really well, but I'm here to assure you that process of cleaning house, it's not gonna last forever. But if you give up and you go back to the same habitual toxic choices that got you here, it's never gonna get better, okay? So your liver is gonna get sluggish, okay? Toxins float around a lot longer in your body than what they're supposed to you're going to experience inflammation. You're going to experience horrible digestion. You're going to be nutritionally starving. That means you consume food and you can't break it down and absorb the nutrients properly. When that starts to happen, your body doesn't function properly. You can forget about anything good built in and wired into your DNA to function correctly and optimally you can forget about that happening. That's just the process that toxicity takes on you, okay? You are mostly gonna show that, for most people, you show that in your largest organ. Your skin has problems, uh, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, anybody? You know, um, inflammation, stress, oxidative stress, okay? These are all things that, are the effects of toxicity. This is the opposite of cellular nutrition. This is actually, you know, the death of a body. Um, sometimes it's a miracle that we're even still walking around with the bad choices that we've made for such the amount of time that we've made them. But the body is resilient. God gives you so much grace to fix what you've done. You can reverse so many things. 
So how can you expect your body to last for a long and enjoyable lifetime if you're not willing to put in the proper building blocks? So we can't have this mentality that we should expect something that we're not willing to sow. If you don't sow this, you're, you're not going to reap it. it. That's not how it works. You get out what you put in, okay? Just so you know, everyone has a different level of amount of toxicity that they can handle, okay? Um, eight years ago, I was diagnosed with mercury toxicity because as a child, my mother vaccinated me. And no, I'm not fine. People that say I was fully vaccinated and look at me, I'm not fine. IBS, you're not fine. Skin problems, you're not fine. Uh, heavy metal problems, you're not fine. Okay, no matter what you say, you may not be able to distinguish what your problems are, but you're not fine. So no, thank you, Linda. I'm not buying it. Okay. Now, like I said, my mom fully vaccinated me as a child. She also let them put mercury fillings in my mouth. So about eight years ago, when my son turned two, uh, we had stopped nursing and I knew that I could take care of my body. I can start the process of slowly detoxing. Um, I went to a dentist for a checkup and she said, yep, yeah, we have a problem with these mercury fillings. They are leaking, so to speak. Well, what happened? I felt like I had batteries in my mouth all day, every day. I felt like I was just licking battery solution and I had horrific brain fog. I had horrible mental clarity. In fact, it was just pretty much non-existent. Um, my body wasn't functioning the right way. I was completely lethargic. Um, I don't know how I took care of my two children when my husband went to work. All I can say was that God's grace got me through that horrific time. Now, I was diagnosed with such a heavy metal toxicity load eight years ago. Um, there are people that go well into their 70s and 80s, and then the toxicity load starts to affect them then. But Everyone's level at how much abuse they can tolerate is completely different. So just because I couldn't tolerate it eight years ago and somebody can make it to 70, you know, that doesn't excuse me for making the best choice that I can. So now, what can you do, right? We explained what the importance of cellular health means. We went over what cellular nutrition is. So we also had to go over what toxicity meant, okay? And the effects of toxicity. Now, I knew when I became a doctor, I needed to keep my eye out on the market because my goal for my clients is to replace their medicine cabinet with a cellular nutrition cabinet, okay? So I want them to have a cellular nutrition shelf. I want them to have an antiviral shelf, okay? For when sickness comes, and, you know, you go through a protocol for that. And then I wanted them to have a section for cellular nutrition. Okay. So my favorite products that I have found that if I formulated them myself, this would be exactly the way I would do it. Are these four nourish mind, body, and soul. Okay. In these four products, you target your gut lining health, you lower inflammation, you help detoxify your body and help your liver health. You get more restful sleep. Restful sleep equals regeneration. That is when your body repairs cells. That is when you rejuvenate. If you're not getting restful, deep sleep, you are not healing your body. Nighttime is designated for healing. Okay, so what are we doing with these four products? You take one small scoop a day, you're getting a whole food multivitamin, you're getting them in a bioavailable form, they're in sprouted form, whatever is able to be sprouted is sprouted in, the, in this product, okay? You have brain food here, you have gut lining food here, you have detoxifying superfoods. I mean, the list just goes on. So do you know what you reap? from sowing good stuff like this, you detoxify, therefore you lose weight. You lose toxins, therefore you gain energy. 
you gain energy, therefore you gain a more efficient running body. Okay, that right there. I mean, I can just stop right there, but it, it keeps going on. I mean, it just doesn't stop. Okay, uh, you have ORAC value in these, um, in these products, a very high ORAC value. You increase nitric oxide levels. There's so many things that are accomplished by these products. Now, they hit every major target in your body, okay? They're different than what else I've seen, the other things that I've seen, because they're not in bioavailable form, okay? And by that, I mean, what should be sprouted is sprouted. They're accompanied with superfoods. They're synergistically blended. As a clinical herbalist making protocols myself, you learn very early on in your schooling that there are things that are just better when they work together. Single items don't really cut it. How many people are tired of looking in their cabinet and they've got like 50 different bottles of different things and uh, it's, it's tedious, it's worrisome, it kind of makes you want to give up. You know, you, you, it's hard for you to be committed when you feel so defeated by going into a cabinet like that and just being bombarded with everything, thinking you have to take 50 things every day. That's not the case with these things here, okay? These nutrients are readily available for your body to absorb. Not only are they readily available, but they increase your cell health so that you're able to absorb these nutrients, okay? Now, remember what we said before, right? You can't out-supplement bad choices. You cannot out-supplement a bad lifestyle. Remember that. Okay, because it's not going to work if you think you can have one foot in and one foot out. So you need to know that every time you consume anything, you are relaying information. Why? Because our food is designed to communicate with ourselves. You give yourself those healthy grass fed fats, those healthy grass fed animal products, your butter, your eggs, your milk, raw milk. You give yourself those things, they tell your cells exactly what to do. You give yourself artificial things, your cells have no idea what to do, and the only thing they know how to do is protect you, create more fatty cells, and gobble up those toxic components in those fatty cells, okay? That's just how you're made to work. So <clears throat> this is an amazing an amazing, simple little regimen here for $4.96 a day. You are worth that. You're worth it to your spouse. You're worth it to your family. You're worth it to your children. Because if it can help you achieve the better version of you, the better quality of life, if you can wake up every day and say, I can take today, instead of waking up and saying, I just never get enough rest. I just, I can't do it. I, I want to still be sleeping. I think I need to sleep for another three days in a row. If you wake up like that and you can't just tackle basic, basic functions of the day, something's got to change for you. So a healthy outside is only going to come from a healthy inside. Okay. And that is the most true statement you could understand. Wow, awesome, Ivy. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop the screen share here. Wow, so much knowledge dropped. Thank you so much for your time tonight. And, you know, when you said, uh, if I could formulate these products myself as a doctor, with the knowledge that I have, that I, this is exactly what I would put together. Like that right there is, man, I'm going to go take a scoop of that now. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. that very impressive. But yes, we're very, very grateful for you and all your knowledge. I mean, I hope we can have you back on again. And so oh, I just yeah. want to remind everybody real quick, um, don't forget to ask the person who invited you to this call with Dr. Ivy, ask them for a $25 gift card and you can use it towards um, hopefully the mind, body, soul, and nourish, which is what we all deserve. We really do. We all deserve just that core um, nutrition and we deserve to value ourselves and spend that on ourselves. So uh, be sure and reach back out for that. And also I will be looking to give away the free product 
So thank you guys for joining. And again, thank you, Ivy. You're very welcome. You guys have a great evening. Have an amazing weekend. Get healthy. Get healthy, stay strong, and get your oomph back. <laughs> All right, thanks. Have a good evening, guys. Good Bye. night. Bye.